hello guys and uh, welcome to my channel and thanks for your support uh, do subscribe and like my channel for different videos and i'll try to keep uh, informing you about the admissions uh, mbbs from romania and the different type of videos so i received some questions from you like uh, which is the best university so as i told you it depends uh, on your personal budget also because if you're studying in the capital city so it will be more expensive same like in india like if you're studying in a small city or if you're studying in new delhi obviously the capital university is nice like the bucharest medical university then comes uh, yash then cluj and then constanza but uh, all of them they follow the same pattern which is the european pattern uh, so they have a, a similar protocol in all the hospitals the the same pattern because it's uh, governed by the Romanian Medical Univers uh, Ministry. Uh, secondly, uh, some I received some questions like if they prepare you for the international exams like USMLE. No, uh, like uh, as you have seen, there are other different kind of medical universities in Caribbean part, the Caribbean medical schools. So they prepare you for the USMLE. Mostly there, these are like four years, and uh, they have the special exams. So, if you are uh, pre uh, aiming directly for America, so you should uh, try to take admission over there. Uh, and like in Romania, you can use some international uh, uh, medical books like you can take from India. But uh, they will also provide you some special notes like uh, you get in India. You have these books, uh, mostly these are also translated from the Romanian languages. So these are mostly focused for their local exams like you have to sit the university exams but these will not prepare you for mrcp for usmle they have special other books so you have to prepare on your own but uh, still it depends on you like if you want you can take the admission over here and uh, then you can uh, sit and study at home with these different kind of books if you have time but uh, you cannot uh, expect anything from the professor that they will explain you on the international level uh, then I received a query regarding my expenditure when I was a student over here. So, like, first of and wh what were the procedures? So, for obviously, I searched on Google and everything, and I had few friends over here. So they I contacted them, and they said like it's really good, and they also returned back to India, and they are working there. Uh, so, firstly, you should find an agent, or if you have a friend over here who can help you. So in the foreign universities first you need to choose a university then you need to send your documents like your mark sheets 10 12 mark sheets a birth certificate and these certificates need to be translated in english if they are not and uh, need to be apostilled haga from the uh, indian ministry then uh, you need to apply for an invitation letter in which university you are uh, taking admission they will help you out so this invitation letter comes from the Romanian ministry. If you are hiring an agent, he will help you out. You need to pay for that extra. And uh, this invitation letter is important because without this, you cannot apply for a student visa in India. So uh, you can check the list of the documents which is needed for the student visa at the Romanian uh, embassy in New Delhi. And they have a list. So mostly they provide you a visa for uh, three months and then you need to apply for a residence permit when you arrive over here after getting the final admission you sign the contract and everything so uh, i'll try to show you here like how much uh, expenditure did i do mostly it depends on the conversion rate because here it's it's not euro but still you need to convert it's a european country so it's more easier like the indian rupee you convert it to euro then to their local currency like which is romanian lei so let me show you as you can see the expenditure i wrote like the conversion rate needs to be seen that time it was different now it's different you never know whether it increase or decrease then uh, you need uh, an official invitation letter as i told you from the medical university the 10 12 mark sheet plus certificates all need to be translated in english if it's in other language uh, it need to be hypostyle without the that they don't give you admission uh, then the student visa Plus, uh, the, uh, the first year fees need to be paid directly from India. You need to do a telegraphic transfer or bank transfer so that your admission is confirmed. So, like, uh, I did a rough 
calculation to let you know how much uh, you need to uh, pay like the fees like one year fees that time it was 5000 euro the medical university but it depends like it's not everywhere the same so in some universities you can also find like 7000 euro 8000 euro per year so you need to check out there it's not the same in all universities so if one year fees is 5000 euro and you convert with the euro so it comes like 4 lakh 40000 per year so I just multiplied it with six years because the medical course is six years over here and you need to pay for six years. It's not like uh, India, like you pay for four years if you're taking admission to private colleges and then the internship, you it's paid and you don't need to pay. But here, uh, there is no internship. Mostly it's included like uh, as a summer practice. So when you get uh, the summer vacations, you need to do two months practice. So you can do in your country or anywhere where you want. So they consider that as internship. So two months every year. And uh, so the total comes like 26 lakh 40,000. This is the grand total of the fees, excluding your rent and uh, your other expenditures. So the rent mostly the cheapest, what you will find is like 200 euros per month so you can find 250 euros 300 euros depends on the room mostly this is like a studio and if you're lucky you can find a two-room apartment the international students they don't prefer in the hostel because you cannot study the environment is different you need to share with someone whom you don't know some stranger so it's better to have an apartment you find easily you can also find these apartments through newspapers there are some agents over here or sometimes other friends they will tell you like they're leaving someplace so you can go there but if you are hiring an agent for uh, apartments, you need to pay their commissions also. Like it's like 50% uh, of the rent amount. So if you found an apartment of 200 euros, 100 euro, we have to pay extra to the agent because he helped you to find out the place. So as I showed you here, you can see like uh, for one month, it's like 18,000 in Indian rupees. And uh, for one year, it comes two lakhs. And for six years, it's around 12 lakhs, 67,200. So everything depends on the conversion rate. Because when you're changing your money, when you're withdrawing over here, so it all depends. Like if you have a debit card from India, when you're withdrawing the money, the bank charges the commission. So you, this is not a fixed up amount. So I'm just showing you approximately. And then comes the bills. Uh, for me, like it depends in the summer when you're not using the heater, it's okay, like it's around 100 euros. And it also depends on you how much your electricity you're using, the water you're using. So roughly, I just gave you a rough idea, it's like 6 lakhs for 6 years. So you can calculate the grand total like 6 lakhs over here, 12 lakhs for the rent and the fees. So what I didn't calculate is like the food. It depends how much you eat, whether you eat outside, whether you cook at home, because the apartment it is with a complete kitchenette. You can cook over there, you can make food. The For the transport, it depends if you're using a taxi, if you're making a bus uh, pass for a month. Then uh, in the summer vacation, if you're flying back to India or if you're flying to Europe, everything depends. So I didn't calculate that. But uh, from my calculation, it will help you to have a rough idea like how much you need to take out the mostly the great uh, major expenses like the fees, the rent and the bills. So the other queries which I received from you were like uh, whether you will find a temple over here or a mosque over here to pray. So as it's a Christian country you will find plenty of uh, cathedrals, churches and also the mosque because there are many turkish uh, citizens over here who are residing over here so you can find uh, churches and mosques but the temple it's hard to find you will not find a temple uh the query was about the indian shop whether you'll find some indian foods over here so unfortunately we don't have in constanza we don't have any indian restaurant neither any indian shop so you'll not find uh, indian food over here but in the capital, there is a shop over there in the center, city center. It's opened by a guy from Nepal. And you can find few things over there. It's in Piazza Obor. Uh, there are few Indian restaurants over there like Taj and Karishma. But it's really expensive. So you can have a try, but you cannot eat every day over there. 
regarding the public transport obviously the taxis are quite expensive so i i always uh, used uh, buses they are cheap like you can uh, make a monthly pass with these buses and you can use uh, all kind of buses in constanza we don't have metro but if you are studying in other cities they also have a metro and uh, it's included in your monthly pass so you can use a uh, tram you can use bus you can use metro uh, but try to avoid the taxis but if you are going with your friends like three or four persons then you can share then it's cheaper because sometimes you're having a class in the hospital then you have to run to another place where you have another classes so you cannot have all the classes in one place so sometimes you're short of the time and you need to travel fast then uh, the other question was about the sim card how can you buy a sim card so it's easily like uh, you need to there are many shops over here you don't need to go specially to a vodafone there are a few companies like vodafone cosmote and orange so i'm using vodafone and uh, you need to go there uh, with uh, your id cards copy you can use uh, your permanent uh, like temporary resident card which you will get here or your passport copy so you need to pay the cheapest is like five euros so it's like your monthly recharge so in five euros you can use unlimited net you can speak to someone so it's feasible it's not so expensive cost of living i told you like it depends on you i tried to show you how much expenditure you will make so and whether it's safe for girls uh yes it's safe for girls like i'm staying since so long i never faced any problem there is no racism i didn't see any girls who were bothered or were traveling on the street mostly you can also walk out in the night you can travel in night alone the taxis are okay the law and order is really good it's not like in india sometimes you face problem in india so it's better over here no need to worry and mostly the apartments are near to the hospitals or uh, the campus so it's close by it's not a big city like new delhi you need to travel from one part to another and it takes you one or two hour in one hour you can travel all around the city so it's a small city then uh, the cost of mbbs someone asked me so i tried to show you that you can see in the video the medical illnesses are you can see also in my previous videos and later on i will also try to show you medical university from other cities in which i could have explained you something then uh, is a romanian uh, medical degree valid in india so when you finish your six years you cannot just uh, take your diploma or degree and go and work in india no you need to pass an exam in india at my time it was fmg exam i think so they are going to change it to the next exam so you need to ask over there from the medical council and uh, the pass rate was not that good that time i don't know how it is right now and after that i had to do one year internship so to of course uh, like six years i did my medical degree over here then i prepared for the exam for the indian exam then i set for the one year internship in india so really it took me like seven to eight years so that's why i'm telling you like if you if you have time if you have patience so you can come and study here if you don't uh, it's better to stay in india because it's not like you six years medical degree and it's okay then you can go back to india and work so it will take you seven to eight years then uh, someone asked me like uh, the documents for romanian student visa so mostly you can find it on the website you need to show, uh, search like this romanian embassy in new delhi and they have this category for the visas you need to click there for student visa and you can find there and uh, someone asked me about the exam patterns how it is so this is a bit different so mostly i was also shocked uh, because in india in high school and in intermediate everywhere it is something different like uh, uh, like every time in india we need to have marks and the maximum marks was 100 so we need to get scores according to that like 80 70 90 but here in romania when i came here so the marks maximum marks was 10 so whether it's practical or theory exam every time you will be marked on 0 to 10 so mostly they have this criteria like below 5 like if you have 3 4 so you need to retake the exam you didn't pass the exam 
but if you have 5 and 5 to 10 then you pass the exam and uh, uh, mostly these are under the European guidelines so the hospitals follow the criteria and uh, the exams have the same pattern in all the Romanian universities over here but mostly they follow this ECTS system like European credit system you can also search on Google and uh, mostly like uh, till third year you have some credits like every credit every year you have 60 credits and uh, by the end of every year they check like how many credits are remaining so they give you a chance in summer to pass these exams and to have your credit because you need to have these credits to uh, go in the next year so it's a bit different but you will get used to it so the major difference was about the marking like you'll get the marks and the maximum marks is 10 it's not 100 